vehicle you saw is not over there, so can you, since you guys have the most uh, vivid description of it, can you guys bolo it? Hey, you guys are going pretty fast. I saw you guys back at the gas station over yeah, there. I uh, pulled out at you guys. Alright, everyone. Welcome to tonight's patrol. Seems like everyone is here and ready to go. Uh, really quick before we roll out, I want to go over a couple things. We have a couple bullet vehicles that we're still looking for. Uh, number one, we are still looking for a red uh, Dodge Charger and a red Crown Victoria that belongs to FD. So if you see that, please call that in. Another thing we're looking for, we're looking for uh, older model uh, sedans that are being stolen out of the Grove Street and Rancho area. Within the last 24 hours, we have about five to seven cars that were reported stolen all in the colors of blue and orange um, four-door sedans. So keep an eye out for those. Anything shady, call it in. Other than that, that is the end of the stolen vehicle list. Um, crime rate is up in the gang-populated areas, so we have a couple gang units that are, good, that are going to be over there. Um, I know we have a couple units that are going to be rolling around unmarked, so be wary of them. They are with us. Other than that, that's all I got for PD side of things. Uh, Josh, do you got some stuff to cover for Sheriff? Uh, just make sure you guys spread out. Try not to bunch up together. Hey, Charlie, 17. Uh, send. Be advised, you do have a uh, Tango tw uh, 37. That's 10 6 at the time. 10 4. All right, guys. Uh, sorry about that. Dispatch had something for me. So just make sure we're uh, spreading out, not getting too clumped up. Uh, we're gonna have a pretty busy night, so make sure you stay safe. Uh, don't forget, don't be afraid to call in for backup. We have a couple supervisors here, myself, uh, Alpha One, and uh, Bravo Eleven, I believe it is. So don't be afraid to call in for a supervisor if you're unsure of a situation. Uh, with that said, stay safe and have a good night. Alpha One, do you have anything? No, everyone have a safe patrol. Delta 19 dispatch. Good. Uh, I'm trying to catch up to speeding motorcycles heading northbound uh, or heading northbound US Route 13. Uh, we've already gone past the U tool. Um, they're doing 110 plus. Uh, can we have some units in uh, Pluto Bay or in uh, Gravesy going ahead and intercept them? 10 4 Delta 2 3 3 Charlie 17 3 Charlie 5 7 and Adam 1. Can you go ahead and intercept? Copy and row code three. Four three copy. Dispatch to Delta four three. Go for four three. You're twenty seven twenty nine on Jack Bell does come back clear. Uh, license status is valid prior speeding tickets. Sound four. Bravo 11 dispatch. Good. 1027, 1029 on a Brandon Jerkins out of Los Santos. Stand back. Delta 4 3 dispatch. Good. Back tonight, one issue, morning issued. Yeah, sure. One, one, dispatch. Go ahead, Adam. Do we have a description on the bikers that were fleeing? Uh, Delta oh. 19, uh, 1A1. Be advised, they're both going to be uh, upper style bikes. Yeah, those uh, 20, I got them here. I got them here. We're up on our US Road 13 as we speak. We'll wait till a couple of cars get to you before I initiate. Yeah, yeah 10 4. I just flipped around behind them. I'm trying to catch up to them. I'm doing 100 <laughs> plus. Oh, Copy where on route US 13? Yeah. Uh, heading towards uh, Plato Bay. We're now on US Route 13, uh, coming around the bend, heading towards Plato. Yeah, 23. I'm behind them. We're going to be headed up towards uh, Plato Bay now. They're not Copy. dramatically. They're taking their time about 50, 60 miles an hour. I'm passing Sandy, I'll be there soon. 10 4 sir. Bravo 11. 
Go for 11. Your subject, uh, Brandon Jerkins, does come back here. License status is valid, no priors. 10 4. Delta 1 4. Stand by. I don't want to go out with your traffic. Uh, 1 A 1 direct to the unit that's following the suspects. Be advised, what? we're going to have both uh, bikes stopped at this time. And it's confirmed that that's them, correct? That's going to be affirmative. One of the bikes was a uh, American flag bike. 10 4. Charlie 17 10 23. Copy. Delta 2 3 8 10 Go ahead, Delta 2 3 Yeah, hold us off on a 10 11. We got two motorcycles. Uh, it's going to be postal, between postal 900 and 904, uh, US Route 1. Bravo 8 to Fast Route 109 Direct. 10 it. 10 1. 10 4. Delta 5 4. Go ahead. 10 8. Copy. State 1, and I have been going over 100 miles an hour trying to catch Dead. catch up to you guys. Me as well oh, as yeah, Bravo 11. We go for off the 10 yeah. and back to you. Uh, yes, sir. And four. Kind of yep, I got. I have you guys on radar. Okay. Oh, what was that? Is there, I said we were just cruising lane split. Is you only stopping us for speed, or is there another thing going on here? Uh, the reason why you're stopped well, is it. for the speeding charge. Oh, okay. uh, you're not going like, to you, you know, get us out on the ground or anything? You got a lot of units over here. A lot of units were called in so that way we could uh, find you guys. <coughs> Sorry oh, about that. No, yeah, I didn't. Even... We didn't realize that you guys were following us or anything like that. Yeah, right. we would. We would have pulled over if you got if we knew that you guys were coming after us. Yeah, you guys are going pretty fast. Yeah, I uh, pulled at the out after you guys uh, right when. Fox. I uh, pulled out after you guys um, on uh, right when you entered Interstate One, or there in Los Santos, and I've been following you ever since, trying to catch up. Uh, oh shit! Gas well, I apologize. Yeah, yeah sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so if I get some uh, license registration and proof of insurance off of both of you guys, please. SUV. Skid across. Yeah, sure. Here All you right. go. My name's you got him stopped, so I'm gonna take off. Stand by for. All right. Armored. Armbra. Alright, yours is uh, Jake. Uh, what is your last name? Last name. Lake. L A K E. Alright, and uh, you, sir, the other bike? Uh, yep. Yeah. Here you go. My name. Time for your uh, county EMS is en route. Take five marks. Negative on EMS. County police officers. Twenty-one dispatch. I'm uh, clear off this call, B-10-8, heading back to the city. Adam-1. Go ahead. Can I go ahead and get you to respond code to, to uh, 817 with the corner of uh, Zancudo Mountain View for a possible assault? Uh, the description is going to be a man wearing a bulletproof vest. The uh, reporting party will be on the scene. Copy. You said 802? 817. 817. Copy that. Okay. Good try, Delta 36. Good. B 10 7. 10 8, 10 41. And 4. Delta 19 dispatch. Good. Uh, do you have my return? Stand by, just one. Delta 19, your subjects Jake Blake and Rodney Jenkins do come back clear. License status are valid. And uh, prior citations for speeding and reckless driving. 10 4. Good. 
Garvey five seven. Go ahead. Can you go ahead and respond to uh, eight one seven Zancudo cross of uh, Mountain View with uh, Adam one. Ten four seven eight ninety seven. Ten four. Charlie, 17. 17. I'll be 10-8. Yeah, for sure, we'll 10 We're on the way to Delta 19 direct. Delta 19 direct. Be advised, Delta 19 is just now putting on stop standby. 10 4. Uh, go for 19. Uh, 19, can we 10 1 real quick? Go ahead. Charlie 75, I need additional 32s to Pamara Drive at this time. I attempted 1011 and a suspect has jumped out at this time, um, yelling another unit, another person has assaulted him. And I Charlie think we have, I think the dispatch Ten gave four, us the wrong information. Four. <clears throat> yeah, I know, when I was looking at the Charlie map, 75, can you update your, uh, this didn't seem right, that's why I didn't come over here. Yeah, I wanted to get on scene to see if this was it, but I don't think this is it, so hold on, let me radio in. Dispatch, uh, 181. Go ahead, Adam 1. Uh, 817, uh, on Nowhere Road is, there's nothing here right now. Are you sure this is the right postal? That's affirmative, it is coming from a, uh, 911 from a secondary dispatch. Okay, well, I think 817 is uh, incorrect, so we could try to give a ring back to that dispatcher or that caller and see if we can get an updated location, because there's two units here ready to respond. And four, stand by. No problem. Yeah, this is definitely not it. Maybe we'll get the right address in a sec. Maybe yeah. Head over there. Seventeen seventy five direct you read by twenty in case it's changed. Hmm. Seventy five. Dispatch to Adam One. Go ahead. I don't want updated information. It's going to be at the Yellow Jack off the US Route 68. Uh, there is an officer that has the uh, subject at gunpoint at this time. 1097 code 3. Copy, we're in Route Code 3. Sample. All right, that's better. <laughs> Charlie 17 times 23 at the Panorama Drive call. Thank you for showing you 23 on Panorama.
Charlie's sending him back this much. Good. Be advised that white SUV that one Alpha One and Pat on, or Charlie Fifty Seven are looking for is off to my left in the abandoned vi uh, abandoned yeah, buildings. Copy. Can you attend on your postal? Right across from the yellow jacket. Those uh, abandoned buildings across from the yellow jacket. Ten four. Adam one. Did you copy, Derek? Copy. So do you need us at the yellow jacket? Or do you want us at the car? Uh, 97 to the yellow jet. Okay, copy. We're on scene right now. Copy. Step back to the sound of my voice. Back, back. Okay. Might want to go ahead and Alright, watch the crossfire, guys. You guys are pointing at each other. Alright, so if you want to go and put your hands down by your side. Is that it with the occupants right, in the vehicle? Thanks, yes, vehicle is clear. Um, be okay, advised, copy. the white SUV you guys are looking for is to the left on that dirt road in those buildings. He flew into the yellow jacket, come back out, and took a went straight into that area over there. Copy, we'll clear. It looked like a old Volkswagen, uh, like uh, one of the old Volkswagen Bugs or SUVs. Okay, copy that. We'll check it out. All right, sir. My name's Deputy Huffman with the Blaine Kelly Sheriff's Department. Control 5 Delta 36. Good. Show me on the 1011 on US Route 68 with a gray hashback. Occupy times 1, no additional 32 is required. Adam, I don't see any vehicle over here. Copy US Route 68 with Copy a gray hashback. Alright, 10 4. I'm gonna check the right. 10 4. Engine 4 dispatch. Good. Could you show uh, all units at station four moving up to station two? Yeah, for showing all units moving up to station two. I think the vehicle took off. Go to twenty three two. Go ahead, sir. Yes, sir, you can show me a uh, clip from the last update today. I yeah, think the vehicle took off from, from when it went over here. It just took off from this location because there's nothing in sight. They said it was a like a white Volkswagen type van. Yeah, let's um let's go back over there since there's nothing here. Let's go back over there. We'll have them put a, a put a bolo out since they know the description of the vehicle. Delta 19 dispatch. Okay, 10 four. Go ahead, sir. All right, awesome. Give me 10 11 uh, eastbound uh, US Route 13 at the US Route 1 interchange um, over by the gas station with uh, one black chopper, uh, one occupant. Uh, no additional 32 is needed. Just to confirm, it's US Route 13, uh, US Route 1 interchange, correct? 10 4. 9 4. Charlie 17. 17. Uh, okay, I get a 27, 29. It's going to be on a civilian. It's speed limit, of course, is 50. I clocked you at 70. Um, any reason for you to be speeding? No. Okay. So, you want to tell me what's going on here tonight? There. Well, I mean. The guy in the back of that squad car, they're saying you assaulted him. He turned around and defended himself by punching you. You left, come back, punched him again. He jumped in your vehicle so you couldn't get away. No, that's not correct at all. Okay, well, let me hear your side of the story. What I'm saying it's like he's completely lying. Okay, Aiden, I even know his name. He's my best friend. And you're just driving around, and I guess he's deciding to try and get me in trouble. Okay. Uh, can I get your name? First and last name? 
Yeah, it's a Jack Ball. B A L L. You said Jack Ball? That's correct. Hey, right, stand by with me, Jack. Do me a favor, guys, come over here really quick. Be <clears> alone. <throat> All right, um, that vehicle that you saw, <clears throat> excuse me, that vehicle you saw is not over there, so can you, since you guys have the most uh, vivid description of it that you guys saw, can you guys bolo it so we can get units looking for it? Yes, sir, I'll go ahead and put the bolo out before I run his uh, 27, 29. Okay, perfect, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take off then. If you guys need me, let me know. One A one is um ten eight available if needed. And for Bravo eleven ten twenty two, uh, Adam one, can you go ahead and respond? U.S. Route thirteen across of Interstate one with uh, Delta maintain. Charlie seventy five. Bravo. Adam one. Go ahead. Get your copy. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. 1097 code to uh, US Route 13 cross of uh, US Route 1 interchange with Delta 19 for a supervisor request. Uh, copy that. In route. Yeah, for Bravo 8 dispatch. Come by just one Bravo 8. Uh, Charlie 75 go ahead with the traffic. Actually, uh, 57. I have a. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. I need and to put up. Let's go and get uh, my and suspect transferred into your vehicle. vehicle. It's gonna be a four uh, I got a charger in case that white cool SUV, um, newer style slick, white, black rims. Looks like it has multicolor underglows. It is wanted in the connection where the fire department called in um, for speeding and uh, aggravated assault, I believe, is what they called it for. And for the special units, be on the lookout for a white four door sedan with a black and white rims, uh, multicolor underglow for uh, 3 Charlie 75 and uh, Station 2. Channels are clear at this time. Uh, Bravo 8, go ahead with traffic. Uh, can I just get a 73? God check? damn. And for Bravo 8, be advised, I'm showing you 10 8 active watch. Jack Ball. J. Er. Charlie 17, control and ready. Good. How you doing now? I'll be back tonight and available. One for sure, and the 10-8 and available. I'm gonna be 10 8 from that 10 11 so that you get issued. Yeah, for sure, you're 10 8 citation, get it. I've dealt a 5 4. Good. Update my active AOP to fleet uh, upgrade, please. Confirm. Thank you. 1 A 1. Adam 1. Uh, I'm on scene with that uh, CHP unit. Confirm for showing you on scene with Delta 19. What's going on? 
All right, so I got him clocked, uh, or when he went through the town, uh, he appeared to be passing vehicles pretty fast. I just set up shop uh, to run radar. Didn't have him clocked there, went on ahead. He he was passing some vehicles pretty fast, so, so I went ahead and pulled out, um, got onto the interstate with him, and then I, that's where I locked him in at 80, 83 and 65. Okay. Okay. Uh, was he having so, complaints or something, or? Jack oh, I always stopped for speeding, asked for information, he kept debating, I, uh, give him, I tell him speed, um, I told him after I got the information, I ran and everything, if I cut him a citation day, I'd go ahead and, uh, let him know how fast he's going. And then, if I let him warning, there was just no point in letting him know that he was just gonna be told to slow down. Okay, so, what are you gonna do? Well, I need to get his information off him, he doesn't want to give it up, so he wants a supervisor. Okay, yeah, let me see if I can chat with him. Alright. How's it going? Ah, uh, not too bad, how you doing? I'm doing good. Officer Polkow with the, uh, LSPD supervisors. Um, so why, why don't you want to give this officer your information? I was just simply asking him, uh, you know, what I'm being accused of. He says I'm being uh, accused of speeding, but he won't tell me, uh, you know, exactly how much he says I'm speeding. So uh, it's a simple question. I, I gladly give my information. All I want to know is what I'm being accused of before I, you know, spend my time going through this process again for the second time today already. You know, I'm just trying to be, you know, peaceful and enjoying a nice bike ride out here. And, and I feel like you guys are harassing me. So, you know, I just want to talk to somebody, figure out what's going on, you know? Okay, well, the officer did clock you going 83 and a 65, so that definitely is over the speed limit. And uh, it is on the radar proving it. So, um, basically, at this point, you know, it's better to just cooperate. That way, we, if we want, we can knock the ticket down to, you know, a reasonable area. So that way, it's not 20 over or 15 over. So, I mean, if we just cooperate, this could be a lot smoother. All we want is license, registration, all that. That way, we know you're valid, you're good, you're not wanted, and uh, everything will be good. That, you know, that that's perfectly fine. I've got no problems providing my identification. I, I just wanted to make sure that I know what I'm being accused of because I don't want him coming back with some random ass ticket and forcing me to, you know, sign off on some shit that's not true, you know. So, you know, that being said, what I want to make very, very clear right now is I'm, I'm going to say that your machine is probably not right. Like, I will admit I was probably going over the speed limit. I say maybe 71 is the max I do it. OK, so I, I'm going to be real honest with you. That's that's what I got. So, l let me go ahead and grab you my ID for you, though. Okay, okay go ahead and do that and stand by really quick. Hold on, they dispatch just tried to... Uh, one one dispatch, can you 10-1 me up there in the patrol rooms really quick? Okay. Yeah? Okay, why were you moved up here? I don't know who moved me. I I don't know. Well, I moved. The, I asked them to move me the second time. I don't know who moved me the first in time. Oh, okay. First time. Well, that was an who? accident. Then I'll put you back down there. Oh, okay, that works. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. I got moved for no reason. I guess. Um. So let's see here. Did we get his information from him? I sorry. I that that flustered me and I got confused. <laughs> I don't think you provide a name. Okay, give me a sec. I'm gonna turn down my radio and then I'm gonna get it from him. All right. Okay. Go ahead and get this from him. All right, man. So we established right that. Uh, okay. Well, that's right. You made a comment about it going. You going 71 max. Well. The thing is, if even if you were going 71 max, you're still speeding. So what I'm trying to say is, if you just cooperate. We can get to the point where no matter what, if you were speeding, you're going to get written up for something. Whether the cop puts down what's on the radar or if he puts it down to a more reasonable thing as of 70 miles per hour or whatever, it, it means it drops the price in the ticket. So, like I said, cooperation is probably the most important thing once that way everyone can get on with their day. I'm sure you got things to do. I know I got things to do and I know this officer has better things to do. And no, absolutely. I mean, I, I want you guys out there protecting people and, and not wasting time. And, and so, you know, I, I'll give you my ID. I got no problems with that. I just want to know exactly what I'm being charged with. I don't like this this whole mystery game that you guys like to play with me. If you want to, well, you know, I'm not me, sure what mystery game he's playing, but 
you know, like I said, you were speeding. What he has on his radar is 83 and a 65. So, I mean, you know, that is a radar. It, it, it is meant to prove speed. So, like I said, it won't probably be that as long as you cooperate. So go ahead and give this officer your information. That way everyone can get about their day. No, no, that's fine. Uh, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. So thank you. Now, now here's my identification. We'll go ahead and get this party started. All right, awesome. So go ahead and provide that to him, and uh, he'll be good to go. All right, thank you. All right, all right. sounds good. All right, I'm going to be back in the right, car, right. so just let me know. Uh, he's going to be a white male. He's going to be wearing a gray shirt, black pants. White male, gray shirt, black pants. Adam, when can you respond to three? Copy, update the location. Yep, it's going to be US Road 13 southbound. We're going to be heading away from Polito Bay towards Sandy. Copy. Ah! Shit. <laughs> Control 604 to 3 Charlie 17. Oh, he's going to be headed on Send. the uh, train tracks. Got uh, it. Yeah. We can notify train and have him stop the train. Uh, 10 for the uh, rail company has been notified. I have nobody with me. I'm going to be on the tracks now. He's going to be still running. He's going to be cool. southbound, parallel to US Route 13. Southbound, parallel to US Route 13. Delta 19, can you respond to it? Uh, yeah, one one dispatch. Adam one. I got two motorcycles. One of them American, a flag bike, and another one just following me. Uh, code three as I'm going 90 over. They're continuing southbound on U.S. Route 13. They were going 90 over, trying to keep up with me. If there's any CHP units down there that can take care of them. Ten four Delta 19, can you go and break out from that 10 send me and respond to us as with Adam one. Ten four en route. Ten four. Can I go and have Delta thirty six respond as well to the ten seventy parallel oh, southbound? Yeah. Ten four. Respond to call three from US Route thirteen. When yeah, I want to update the location where the suspects running, I'm on scene sir, and don't still, see anyone. Yep, we're still on the track, sir. We're heading away from uh, US Route thirteen. We're heading up on a hill now. Oh, hey, copy, you, copy. You know, just passed me. That's on our south, US Route thirteen. You gotta flip around. We're going underneath the bridge as we speak. 10-4 underneath the bridge. Delta 4-3, can you go ahead and respond with Delta 19, code 3 to uh, assist with the choppers? 10-4, can you get an update 20? The yeah, advice last name was uh, Southbound US Route 13 with uh, Adam 1 responding code 3. 10-4. Delta 20 to the control. Good. Alright, the lost eyes on the subject. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna give you a last known 20. It's gonna be uh, near the tracks parallel to U.S. Route 13, a southbound. Could have ducked off into one of these holes here. Delta 19, I have that American flag motorcycle. And 4. 4-3 to 19 direct, you have an update 20. We're going to be uh, par on dirt road parallel to, uh, parallel to uh, U.S. Route 13. Yeah, I was going speeds excess of 9, uh, 96 while responding code 3 and they were following me. Be advised, I, I got an additional bikes. bike here. Can I get a, I get a negative? I was trying to get a postal, but he's between these uh, these two postals. Here. I don't know okay, if he no ducked worries. off. Yeah, I don't know if he ducked off underneath so the bridge when I uh, passed by, but I lost three. ours. Do you have any visual All right, I'm going to see if I can yeah, move yeah, around so the area, see if I can see one on foot. Underneath the, uh, one of the bridges here, um, but I lost eyes as of now. 10 for if he advised at this point, it's safe to advise that it was an AI. Yeah, for, sir. We're 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 good you, then. You AI. It was or it wasn't. The civilian code zero. Acknowledge. There's an AI. We'll pull the Here, I'll uh, give you a ride, man. You want a ride? Yeah, the, my cardio is all messed up here. Thank you. Yeah, it's also really, really, really far, so... That's a long stride there, just for an AI. Delta Delta oh, yeah. Delta yeah, I lost Delta eyes Delta once he came Delta over Delta. the bridge here. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to get... Oh, I was trying to get there, but I could not, um... It was hard to understand where you were, especially because I didn't think you actually 
uh, ran that far. <laughs> Delta 4-3. So. Yeah, oh, it was a long stride. We went all the way there. We went straight up. My car should be right up here to the right. Yeah, there, so I pulled up and then I pulled over and then <laughs> went over through the grass over there. <laughs> Yeah, that's where we went initially, and then we went towards those buildings, and he kind of tried to zigzag. I think he can get lost in me, but it is what it is. Yeah, did you get we'll the get vehicle cleared and all that? There was no one else in it? Nobody else was in it. Vehicle was cleared. Uh, he just, we were talking to him, and he just got out and just took off, like, no statements. So, it was Interesting. That's why he did that. But I'll search the car, and I'll get a towed out here and take care of it from there. Awesome. All right, we'll be safe. Let me know if you need me. All right. Thank you for your help. Much appreciated. Yep. When I went dispatch, I'm code four off the uh, officer assistance. Delta Delta 19 to 181. Go ahead. You had the. Did you have both bikes, or did you have uh, the uh, American flag bike? It was uh, two bikes following me. The only one I got a description on a valid one was the American flag bike because uh passed right behind me other than that i don't have a description on the second party he's but um off, so, uh, i got one copy. bike taken off where's the uh, 20 uh he's gonna be heading uh southbound uh paralleling us route 13. yep i just got him he just passed by me copy that he's i'm in route up, uh, 19. delta 43 i'm gonna be on that pursuit right now okay that's you to your left wait you guys heading northbound? Be advised, our our final stop is going to be on uh, Union Road, just on the other side of uh, the other side of uh, Sandy or Joshua. One away, Copy. Where we were before, you would see us. You'll see my cruiser. All right, ten four. Delta two three control. Get turned up to. Delta 2 3, go ahead with the traffic. Sorry, sir, can you just throw me a 51 if you don't mind, please, to this location uh, for this car, please? 10 4, you're counting 51 as an route ETA 5 minutes. 10 4, thank you. 10 4, Charlie 75, go ahead with the traffic. 3, Charlie 75, yeah. go ahead with the traffic. You sure? Uh, myself oh, and 57 are going to be code 4 10 8. Uh, be advised, one citation issue for speeding for the Jack Black. What, are the you other concealing it? Are you open carrying it? False police report. This is open uh, carry. I just duct taped it to the lot, side of my bike. <laughs> Alright. Alright, what kind of weapon is that? I look like a sawed off shotgun. Uh, yourself or 3 Charlie 37 10 15 with one. For one, you're not supposed to have that weapon on you. Uh, he is 10 8 back now. 10 4, showing you 10 15 with one. I'm 10 8 2. Okay. Oh, here is the arriving. Oh, there he goes. Delta 19 dispatch. Can you run uh, Rodney Jenkins again for me, please? And for Sam. Really suspicious. Oh, is this a topic That's you're talking legit. about? It looks like it. Sorry, what's the what's the problem with my Tahoe? Yeah, he said uh, he was he was talking to his buddy, uh, the other individual on the bike as to where they wanted to go eat and they seen you uh, go by them with your lights on and they decided to follow you to see which way you're heading and where you're going so you're subject to it was just curiosity didn't think they were going that fast for this gentleman so alright so. uh, hold on one sec and for when I went I'm on scene with that uh biker that was following me Okay, now the right. only issue I had was the fact that I was responding code 3 to um, an officer that was chasing a suspect, and I was going upwards to about 90, I'll be honest, and you guys were following me no problem. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't know we were going that quick. I just, I was just curious about, you know, where you were heading. Yeah, I was going Sir, out to assist to another once. officer, so the only issue was, you know, the fact that you were... You know, I was responding code 3, I had my f attention focused on you, yet I'm traveling 90 miles per hour, and I should be paying attention to me, but I have two bikers following me, also having to use a radio, so I mean, it's just, you know, I didn't, I didn't clock that you, like but I could, I could definitely, well, you're gonna make it your problem in a second. 
I'm being fair just by saying that I saw you driving fast. Yeah, no, I, I didn't, like I said, I didn't think we were going that quick. I mean, I was just behind you. you. You were clearing the way and we were just cruising behind you. All right, well, the issue that I'm talking about is going 96 while I'm clearing the way. That's not, you know, just because I'm going, you know, fast doesn't mean that you can follow behind me. Did you guys say that one of them took off or something? I thought that's why I was responding yeah, to one of them, Yeah, uh, one of them took off down the road. I think they got him stopped up there. Oh, I was on that scene, but I thought it was this one, so, okay. All right, well, um... That guy, they didn't pull my buddy over, they pulled me over, and my buddy pulled up, and they didn't say that he was stopped, so he was like, all right, I'm leaving, and he drove off. Thing is, I, I did say he was stopped, and I needed him to stay here, and then he took off. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Well, uh, you know, I don't know how these guys want to handle it, but I just wanted to let you know my point of view, uh, and where I saw it, all right? Did Due to many, many previous citations, and I've already cited him today once for roughly 90-something. It's going to be I thought it was a, another site. You are not going 70-something. What, the first time? Uh, earlier, I if I recall correctly, you cited over. him for going 80 and a 50. Or okay, is that what you have? Yeah, it was 80. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, I'll have to look through my You're clearly um, notorious for doing this, so... I, I, yeah. One ticket is notorious? I mean, the thing it, is, I mean, dispatch yeah, comes back. You, you have again, many. not even that long later. Well, I don't know. You just got you get. We could tell you like speed, which if you go to a, a raceway or something, you know, have as much speed as you want. Well, I had a big open road when you were clearing the traffic. Well, unfortunately, that's not how it worked. You have a nice bike, and if you know, it would be a nice police bike. But other than that, it doesn't have lights, so it could. But well, I mean, that. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. I mean, I think you guys can handle this. Um, like I said, I didn't, I didn't catch him on a radar, but I could definitely tell he was tracing me at about 90, 91, 92. So. All right, I'll uh, go ahead and cut him a citation for it then. All right, guys. Wait. All right, you sir. Said you didn't catch me on the radar. All right. But you were definitely I think it's visibly. Say we him for prudent speeding. Yeah, but you're gonna prove that in court. Uh, can, yeah. I mean, my is. testimony. Your word against mine? Uh, what do you, what do you plan on citing? <laughs> You're damn like, right. Uh, what do you think we should cite him with? Well, I mean, you know, what, uh, uh, you know, exactly what you said. Okay. So, basically what the charge is, prudent speeding, <laughs> is basically, we can say beyond a reasonable doubt that you were going well above the posted speed limit. And the way we can prove this in court is by showing dash cam footage of this officer's Tahoe saying that he was going X miles per hour and you were trailing him at a safe distance or at an unreasonable distance, matching his speeds, if not going in greater or slightly lower than his speed, which is, was well over the speed limit. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Andrew, if you want to go ahead and we'll cut the citation, in court, your choice. Yeah, you can write me a ticket. Yeah, I'll go ahead and cut the citation. All right. All right, sir, so go ahead and uh, sign down here at the bottom. It's not an admission of guilt, just saying that you received citation from us. Um, there's instructions on the back. You will have a court date again, um, as you already have one pending court date for your last speeding incident. Yeah. I'll see you in court, same, sir. I mean, day, I'll right? be there. Okay, good. I hope so. At, It'll okay. be the same day? So just, all right, just sign down there at the bottom. Okay. All right. Along with that citation is my card. As you already have my information, because I've given you one citation today. This is your second moving violation. If you receive a third moving violation, your vehicle will be impounded. Oh, shit, all right. Well, if you receive no another moving nice violation bike, today in this vehicle, you are going to have it impounded. Yeah, okay, well, that's not going to happen, so... All right, I hope it doesn't. Slow it down. All right. All right, go ahead and head out. All right. Yeah, be safe pulling out, all right? Okay. Clearly, he's, uh... <laughs> we're gonna see him again. Uh, I had to, oh, yeah, earlier when I was chasing him down, I was, earlier I was chasing him down, I was doing 110 trying to catch him. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. I was going about 96, 97 down, uh, US Route 13 here, southbound, and it, it, they were tracing me. They were catching me, actually, so... And it was also Man. scary, because I didn't know at that point... What are they doing? Are they gonna 
do something once they catch up with me. And I think at one point, the second one, the one that took off, supposedly just because he wasn't stopped, uh, flipped me off. So I don't know. It, they're up to no good. Yeah, it's he's he's been two of my three citations today. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Down Alejandro towards the gas station. Oh, never mind. That's not here. All right. Well, yeah. So they're gonna be seen again. I'm gonna head down to that secondary uh, suspect that they're talking to down there. See if they're still going with them. I'd imagine. Uh, I'd imagine Mr. Uh, Jenkins is probably over there with them right now. Anyways. Yeah, that's kind of why I want to get down there, provide assistance. Oh, hold on. They were calling you on dispatch just shortly ago. Okay, hold on. One eight one dispatch. I don't want. Did you call? Hey, for him, uh, be advised. Five Delta two three has the uh, second individual and was wondering if you wanted to uh, interview him or interrogate him. Copy. At this time, uh, the secondary wasn't identified by me. Um, I could not get a clear identification on the bike or uh, the suspect himself. So. I have no further with them. I talked to the and ticketed um, the first one in the American flag bike, so I think we're clear. And for 5 Delta 2 3, you can go ahead and release that individual. Sure, for that American flag bike, it's a full stop. Go ahead and release one more. Thank you. And well, for, probably we just missed priority. Catch him. Go ahead, probably. Yeah. All right, guys, well, a, let's uh, uh, clear out of here. Oh, he already left. Downtown La Mason. <laughs> Seems yeah, like he's right there. Popular street <laughs> okay. All right, All right well, travels. let's go to take back, uh, take off. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Boy, stand by.